Morning guys, welcome to the 3rd of January, 2020 already, uh, hell. so yeah, I'm back in the van, um, been trying to get on with a bit of work with the old girl while I can, not very much has happened to be honest, <laughs> um, I have managed to get these side panels off that were just here, kind of made up part of the mud guards. The, the pair down there. What I had was two bolts top and two bolts bottom. This side only had three bolts in it. Um, and of course, I sheared one off. <laughs> I broke a drill bit, I broke a tap, and it's still in there. So that's going to be a fun one. Two top ones came out right. Then somebody decided to do this side as well. And now well, you can see that that's a stud. <laughs> so that bolt snapped off. I think that bolt snapped off. And when we're trying to do that one, and I've broken a drill bit. <laughs> a drill bit, yeah, drill bit. And I think, yeah, I think that was it on that one. I managed to get it out, I managed to push it in. So in there, there's part of a drill bit and a bloody end of a bolt. <sighs> Which isn't what I wanted. Um, and to get in there... Ooh, ooh, turn around. This panel needs to come off. Um, but they're all like press studs, they get in cars. So as soon as you try and press them out, you break them off. So, yeah, she's been a bit of a pain to be honest. Um, also, I took the seat out as well. In fact, I go around the other side and show you that. Um, but while we go around back, um, now I started working on the back end of it. You can start seeing where the seams run up, and the window, and another seam, and they're all just starting to get well a bit rusty. That was quite a good one. So it's just starting to it'll focus in. Just starting to blow out now. So I need to try and get something done with that. Oh, painted steps back on. Come on. Treads. Drop that off. Whoop. Right, so for anybody who doesn't know, um this is actually a reverse drive tractor. So this whole steering column spins round on itself. Um so the mechanism is actually here. This is the lift mechanism, which pulls a pin out of the bottom. Um, and there's actually a plate here that it all runs on. And it just releases a pin, so you can turn it. So you can have like modern tractors, where you can have like you can be forward facing. You can be like 45 degrees left. Uh, sorry, 45 degrees right, 45 degrees left. But you can also do it when you're in reverse as well. Um, I took this off because I was getting bored. <laughs> Because bits still had turned up, I need done. Um, but what I do have is these pipes that run underneath to obviously give you a, a turntable. These pipes need to be connected underneath into your controls. It's not like a, a fence or something that's now electronic. So it's just a couple of wires that are thrown in. So underneath here is the opposite end of this, which is an ordinary kind of end. But then onto the pipe is like what my mate calls a, a repair coupler so it's actually a hydraulic pipe like that but it's got a thread on the inside of it so the pipe's actually twisted on to the, the coupling which unfortunately doesn't work when you're trying to turn a seat round <laughs> so every time you try and undo a, turn a seat round it actually slightly undoes it but it never quite nips it back up again so I've constantly got a oil leak underneath which is hydraulic steering like power steering fluid so somehow I've got to try and get this all, yeah, something, <laughs> so I can get under there. I have tilted the cab up before, but what I need to do is try and empty everything off it and change the ends of those pipes around, so it's a permanent, a permanent fixed end. So, yeah, more joys, tribulations. At least we're not being used yet. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to leave it there, and I shall carry on for the next half hour trying to get these ruddy bolts out.
Right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'll catch you later. Cheers. Bye.